Hi guys, um, it's Christine and today I'm going to be showing you on how to upload your pages to Freezins. When your page has been approved by Miss Heiss and it's ready to be uploaded, your page has to be saved as a JPEG. And to change it to a JPEG, where it says format, you click on that and you go to JPEG. And you could save it in the folder or like me, I'm going to save it in the desktop just for now. Okay, and the quality, you want it 12. And always make sure that your resolution for your pages is 300 because if not, it's going to come out blurry in the actual yearbook. Okay, so now we're going to go through the process of um, how to upload it onto Freezins. You have to obviously sign into your account. To upload it, you go to Upload Images. Um, it's on the home page. And okay, dear, you're obviously gonna want to put your page or your image into a category. And if it, it isn't already there, you can always create add a category. And since I have uh, the baby, the senior babies, I'm gonna name it senior babies. Babies. Create category. Okay, so after you've created your category, you put upload images. Uh, you're gonna upload images to you, the <laughs> folder you specifically want it to be in. Mine's is senior babies. Okay, browse for your file. I put mine on my desktop, on the desktop, so that's where I'm gonna get it. Open. Start upload. Okay, it's processing. And now your page is there. After it's here, you go to pages. Um, you're gonna click on this uh, edit tool. It's gonna. It, it's not on there, but now because it can't, and like the senior baby pi pictures go on this page. It'll usually be right here in this area, and you just select the page where your pages are supposed to be. It's gonna give you the option to upload, and you're gonna click on the upload and you're gonna have to search up you're gonna have to look for your category after you've chosen your category you can click on that image that you just previously uploaded and you can click or drag it onto the space provided and it usually does automatically fill the space and if it doesn't just fit its size okay guys well i hope you've learned something I, although i couldn't visually show it to you i hope you understand my steps to this and uh wish y'all luck